women taking L's. Man, y'all taking all the L's. You have a lot of L's. You got the lowercase L's. You got the uppercase L's. You're taking all kinds of losses. You got all the losses. But what you ain't got as a man, what you don't have is someone proposing to you. Now, I can't wait to play this stuff because Kendra G, Kendra G, she is mad with the women now. She used to call him Kevin Samuels and combat him, try to prove that he was wrong. But now these women done drove her naked crazy. She just can't have it. I mean, I, I had to get something to drink for this, man. I am so elated about this stuff. Y'all taking L's left and right. We are winning. Kevin Samuels was right. Hey, Kendra, welcome to the man of spirit because now you sound like one of us. Oh, man. I'm so damn. I've been playing these clips so you can see this for yourself, gentlemen. Man, I'm so damn happy, man. I might go skin and dip it. This shit is crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get started, man. Like, Woo wee. Here we go. Um, before I go any further, let me, let me address some comments because I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of whenever I have to have a direct moment with the woman, the, oh, Kendra, you're being insensitive. You're making people feel low. Don't watch my show. If that's how you feel, do not watch it. Because when I have a man up here, there's nothing but women. Actually, let me talk about this. I have a guy on my Facebook page right now who's in a jacuzzi. And there are so many women in the comments saying he's gay, he's this, he's a sissy, he's giving me feminine vibes. You women don't have any problems expressing yourself when it's something negative to a male. But let a woman come up here and we have to have a real talk moment. All of a sudden, I don't like this show because I feel low. You don't like the show because your ass don't want to take direct criticism. And you know what? That's why your ass is going to be watching me as long as I do the show. And you ain't going to get a man because you're not strong enough to woman up and maybe realize there's some shit you got to get together. Okay? So I'm really done with the sensitive women that watch the show that are always complaining when I got to give a woman real talk. And I do it in the most sensitive way as possible, if you guys ever notice. It's exhausting. It really is. So I don't want you to watch my show no more. If you feel as though I'm making someone feel low, this show ain't for you. Go do something else with your Saturday night, with your Friday night, with your life. Because I'm over it. Especially when women are literally more mean than the men on my show. Go to the comments on my page. It is 80% women saying the negative things. I'm over that shit. So if you guys can dish it, learn how to take it. And it's that simple. I'm not going to sit up here walking on eggshells, talking to women when they got crazy shit happening in their lives because you guys are so freaking sensitive. Woman up. Maybe it's time for you to do something in your life and kind of get your shit together. Have you ever Yo, I think it's more like Kendra the OG instead of Kendra G. She is pissed off and she's going to turn straight ratchet. I'm loving it because we've been saying this for years. Uh, oh, man. Have you ever thought of that? Absolutely. There's men up here that got crazy shit going on. I talk to them every night. But guess what? Y'all in that same pool at times, but y'all don't want to admit it. So I'm over it. So if you feel as though I'm insensitive, I'm mean, and you can't handle it, my show ain't for you, boo. Go somewhere else. I'm over it. I really am. <coughs> Every single time. So, I mean, we can just keep lying and just saying, oh, you know what? That sounds good. And, this, and then what's going to happen? Ain't no change going to happen. Because when I do stuff, it really comes from a good place. Whether you want, whether you understand that or not, I'm telling you this from a good place. I'm not a mean hearted person. I really am not. But you have to give truth if you want to get results. If we keep. I'm not really interrupting her because I want you to get the full blood of this whole interview before I go in on this stuff, y'all. So let's, let's keep it going, all right? Beating around the bush saying the same old bullshit you're not gonna get nowhere and it's because everybody just trying to be too kind but y'all not even kind that's what gets me y'all not even kind y'all are the meanest people in the comment section to these men on my show but all of a sudden when we got to talk to a woman child Kendra me I don't like watching the show she's too insensitive well guess what bitch don't watch it it ain't for you and now that problem is solved cause I'ma be who I am <laughs> So we gonna, so that's gonna be clear. 
And I ain't forcing you to be here. So if you can't handle it, my show ain't for you. Next. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to make this a separate clip on my channel just because I was not ready for her to give that smoke at the end. Kendra G, she's called into Kevin Samuels' show, had beef with him, all types of things with the manosphere, with red pill, all that. And now she is saying exactly what a lot of the men, her having to deal with women over her show. It's not the men being nasty in the comments. It's not the men calling, like she is. You know what? Now she sees. And I'm going to tell you something. When a woman goes off like that at the end, when she said, well, you think I'm sensitive? This has been building up in Kendra. This ain't just something that just happened with Kendra. All these women with their attitudes and their negative things they got to say about men and women finally got to her. Everything that Kevin Samuels and what other many, what other content creators say about women, she sees it. She experienced it now. Now she can't deal with it. Now, if a woman can't deal with it, what makes you think a man can deal with it? Like I say, it ain't Kendra G no more. It's Kendra the OG now because she done went straight hood. She went straight gangster. I'm glad. Now, like I say, welcome to the manosphere. You know what I mean? Now she gets it. Now, she ain't the only one who quit or quitting. Remember Ayana, who used to do that show, Ayana Fix My Life? She said the same thing. She couldn't deal with the very unrealistic expectations of black women. Rebecca Lynn Pope, April Mason, to name others and other women who have thrown in the town throw in the towel, excuse me, and waved the white flag and gave up because they realized that the modern day black woman is a monster. You cannot deal with these women. They are self-centered. They are easily to get angry. They're selfish. They're all about themselves. Now, normally I'm going to do three videos a day, but when I saw this, I said, I'm going, I got excited to start drinking, so I got to make a video about this. Now, what I'm about to do now, gentlemen, is play other women who are femininity coaches, matchmakers, and see how they gave up as well because of women like these women that we're talking about. Let's go into our Rebecca Lynn Pope. And the reason I stopped matchmaking is because I literally was being, I, I can't handle female clients. I was a matchmaker that matched females and I had a few male clients, but predominantly I was matching women. And listen, what I, it was such a valuable lesson for me because what I learned is that the average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. What she's really wanting are these standards or ideas that she has of what a man is supposed to be. But this is nothing what men are. They're, this is not realistic for who men are, how they think, what they value. It's just this preconceived you know, idea that women have of who men should be. But this is not women live in a make believe world. They do not know what men want. They don't know what a man is. They don't understand men and they want to create a world to where men serve them. That's not how it's supposed to be. The patriarchy is real and it exists and it was ordained by God. You cannot ever, ever get over God. You can never be stronger than God. If God put man here before a woman and said the woman is going to be ruled by the man, no matter what you do, you can take left, right, shortcuts. Every time you try, it will fail. It is destined to fail. All right, this is not being religious, but if it comes from the divine creator, the patriarchy is divine, and man is supposed to be the leader of the household, no matter what you do, you will fail because God ordained it to, to not succeed. Okay, so look, no matter what you do, it's not reality. Nobody wants to seem shallow, so they don't want to come right out and talk about what kind of car you drive, what part of town do you live in, what do you do for a living. And but it, but if you kind of take it in its entirety, it it is pretty shallow in yeah. some ways, right? Because it's like it's so specific to the point that you know women in their list they don't realize you're talking about like not even one percent mm. of the male population how long we've been saying this <laughs> right we've been saying this for and, a while and i tend to be kind of like um i'm a real factual type of person you know i like i like stats i like research i like you know i like real what's real not imagined and yeah. so by the time i would listen to women um it was like where am i gonna find this these days mm. and then she's maybe a solid six and and you're talking about a man who's a 10 plus, right? <laughs> top shelf 
dude and he can date a superman okay if you're a really highly successful woman who's doing very well financially you can't men don't date with those standards you date with who makes you happy you what date- if she can't get over that she's like i don't want to i want somebody on my level good luck <laughs> have at it go for what you want but i'm just letting you know that see after these women hit the wall after they um see woman out the woman failing because of their unrealistic expectations in men they start to see hey maybe i'm wrong now only a few women notice that or there are more who know they're wrong but they won't say anything because they are afraid of the sisterhood they're afraid of other women jumping on them but women are quitting every day being matchmakers and all this stuff because they cannot deal with today's modernized black woman. And I'm using these clips for educational purposes out of fair use to show what I feel. Your pool of men that are making the kind of money you're making is so slim to none. And then those men don't. Your advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. So my honest response to this video is when he spoke to her the way he did. I wasn't thinking about no freaking viral video. I'm thinking about her, her. I'm thinking about this young girl who just had somebody speak to her in such a way that was so belittling and so degrading. I feel like we're living in a day and age where there's like this whole conversation about single black women in particular, right? Mm -hmm. And this conversation about the statistics showing that black women don't get married as much as Mm -hmm. other races. So I know you're also a relationship expert. Can you talk about that? Like, what do you think the challenge is that women are having, black women in particular, Mm -hmm. when it becomes to becoming a wife? Well, honestly, keeping it 100 yes. there's not enough eligible black males who fit the needs of black women mm. by wow. the time you dissect the demographics of finances sexual orientation uh what you end up drilling down into because black women tend to want to marry black men right right which means that we're and we already with millennials are seeing a trend of waiting to get married anyway There's a lot of people, men and women, who don't even want to get married anymore. And the reason why that's a lot of men want to get married, but women are making it difficult for men to get married. We're not just going to accept anything no more because we are understanding and waking up and realizing what we are. So I'm going to play one last one about, about a woman talking about older women who have hit the wall and tell you why she quit trying to match make with them as well because of their unrealistic expectations. Let's get it. Single women who are over 50 years old who have been reaching out to me for wife coaching tips, I'm no longer taking them. Don't pay the money through my website because I'm just going to refund it to you. I've had a couple of experiences this week and here's why. Most of you, not all, but 99% of the women who are 53 and older, specifically 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 64, in those age brackets have been the most challenging for me to coach because the standards are unrealistically high. I get that you're old school and I get that your mom raised you to only interact with gentlemen, but most of the men who do all of the stuff that you're wanting are dead or they're not looking for 55 or 57 year old women. There are some younger men who do that. You you don't want an old man because he can't perform in bed. Well, the younger men don't want an older woman because some of you have arthritis. Some of you have missing teeth. You have gray hair. You have grandkids. Like, you got to be realistic and balanced in your thinking. So, listen, the other thing is these social media dating sites or whatever you call these things, these I've seen modernized female whores in those sites, meeting strange men, having sex with them. You don't know them. And I'm talking about women of God. You've got to make some shifts and some changes in how you think and how you process if you want to be married. Now, if you just want to be somebody's jump off and you just want to be somebody's cougar, 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 or somebody's fun girl. It is her literal job to coach women on how to be good wives. Do you know how much of a headache you have to be for somebody to say, I don't even want to take your money? Exactly. Exactly. So, gentlemen... We have been right the whole time. These women are throwing in the towel, taking these L's. I'm going to tell you something else. Call me a psychic if you want to. But there's going to be a lot more women that's going to give up trying to help women. 
there's, there's going to be a lot more women who's going to give up trying to be a matchmaker because they're starting to see that these modern day women are very difficult to deal with. They're not pleasant to be around. And this video is not designed to bash any type of people or any gender, but it's just facts. Women can't deal with accountability. And when someone tells them the truth, you see what happened? They, they turn on their own. They turn on their own. <laughs> like I say, celebration time. Come on, let's celebrate. We won. <laughs>